Okay, so I've altered the thing that we were doing before, the file that we had that was laying out form input and putting it into a file, a flat file. Now we're going to put it into a database instead. Some changes I've made. Um, again, it's a single file here for the ice cream social um, that's going to present the form and then it's going to process the form. If there's post data, then we actually say your selection has been recorded. Uh, that's a little optimistic, but that's okay. And then we record it. Um, remember before we said else, that is if it, there was nothing in the for form, then if there was nothing in the post, then present a form. Here I'm just saying, even if you've just posted a form, go ahead and put another form. Just let people keep going if they want to. So no matter what, we're going to go ahead and put this form down here. Um, this isn't whom should I invite. It should be, oh well, I'll worry about that later. Um, what flavor, right? Um, so um, here's my form. Um, okay, so we know what the form does. It, it looks for the name, the flavor, and the number of scoops. Then up here we want to kind of lay it out and we would either put it out to a flat file like we did before, but now we're going to put it into a database. So how do we do that? Well, just as before, we need a handle for the database, just like we did for the file. So we say Q is our variable that's going to act as our handle. And then we open up, we, here we would have said F open, if you'll recall. Instead, we say MySQL connect, and we give the um, server, which might be localhost or might be an actual server, the username for the database user, and the password for the, databa for the database user. Again, we say or die. Um, in this case, we say no connect. And I want to remember, remind you that dot means add another string on along on, on top of this. We're going to use it again in a second here. So no connect, and then give us this function, MySQL error. MySQL error is a nice little thing that tells us why something has gone wrong. So it might say, oh, you have the wrong password, you have the wrong username, uh, there's no MySQL server at this address. It'll give you some error that gives you something to go on. So if there's an error, not only do we say no connect and die, we actually tell us what the error is. But assuming we don't die, we go on and we select the database. You'll recall that the database is this one. Uh, uh, IC social. I'm sorry, that's not the database. The database is AOIR v3. So we select AOIR v3 from our our queue here. Um, again, if it dies, then we say we couldn't do it, and we add on a little bit from the SQL error. Uh, if it doesn't die, then we can do our third thing here, which is actually do a MySQL query. Um, I haven't included the the cursor, or, uh, the handle. Here I've just said um, go ahead and do the query, but that that'll work fine. It'll assume that we're still working on this one that we just selected, and then I have the string here, which is a, a piece of MySQL. Remember we saw that string before when we used PHP MyAdmin. This is the actual code that you use in SQL to insert um, something. Um, again, and if that doesn't work, we die, and then finally we close. Let's take a little closer look at that. Um, query. Right now the query is static. That is, no matter what you put on the form, it's going to enter in the same thing, which is a problem, but we'll fix it. Insert into, that's the kind of keywords we have to use, insert into, and then the table we want to insert things into. Uh, the table is IC social. We created that table earlier. And what um, fields do we want to insert values into? And the fields we want to insert values into are name, flavor, and scoops. You'll recall that we're just going to leave ID and time blank because it'll figure those out on its own. And the values we want to put in those three things are three values. For now, I've just said someone green three. Those are static values. They have nothing to do with the form that I'm going to submit. And then again, we die if it doesn't work. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Um, I'll put in Sam Lime 3. It doesn't really matter, right? Because it's going to put in static data. Okay, so I did that, and it says your selection has been recorded, and then it presents me with a new form. Um, now if we look here and I refresh this, um, refresh, it has a new line here for... Um, it's actually done five because for reasons I can tell you later. It would normally do three, but I've deleted two up here, so it's given us five. Again, it doesn't matter what the ID is. This works fine. So five, someone, green, three. So it inserts that line for us. So that's great, but that's a very static thing. That's obviously every time anyone goes to the form, it's going to do the same thing. What we really need in here is not someone, but whatever it is that we someone input as, the, as their name. So how do we do that? Well, I'm going to end that string, add in another string, add in another string, and start a string. So what I'm going to put in here is um, our string that's, remember, our post, oops, underscore post string for name. All right. So 
there's this right here puts in the string for name instead of someone and here we'll do another one and here we'll do another one this one is going to be the flavor and this one is going to be the scoops uh, scoops all right so uh this looks very confusing now and it is really chunky and normally i wouldn't do it this way in fact we're going to fix it in a minute but for now just to make sure you understand what this is this is one string the beginning of my, our query and i'm going to add it this is kind of just consider this like a plus this is another string which is the name that we're getting from the form here's another plus this is a string that just has um single quote comma single quote and then plus the thing that we're getting from flavor from the form plus again close quote comma open quote plus the thing that we're getting from scoops plus just a close quote a close uh, parentheses and the end so this is a big string that we're putting into the insert in into we'll go ahead and save this but I don't know, I've run out of time but that gets us uh, an insert of our actual form values